social networks and its effect in teaching learning processes at school level. Abstract Today's social networks, SNS, are the best platform that supports sharing interests, communications, collaborations, and interactions in a normal life. Nowadays the teaching learning processes are converted as in flip and blended learning modes. Now teachers directly interact with student, parents, and management to review the assignments of the students, their homework, progress chart and real-time with quality achievements. We mapped the change in value-based education, VBE, analyzed the impact of SNS that changing mindset of the educators and measured the core issues that matters in real life with respect to virtual life. The study shows that social media really imparted in videos, gaming, interactives, collaboration and sharing of the valuable applications and ICT tools. The SNS tools provides opportunities and affordable platform to enhance teaching learning processes in educational systems to provide universal and convenient education without any divides in our community. The SNS has been used in the classroom for the tracking of student work, the post-homework, upcoming planning, and events, specific hashtag and creation of group with their real-time contributions. The continuous widespread use of SNS proves the one's social connections in new era of 21st century one. This paper specially finds the teaching learning happening in classroom using SNS in creation of knowledge, innovation, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills in students. Simultaneously it will help the researcher to address the usage of SNS in educational community of the globe. It has been indicated that there is rational of SNS in learning outcomes because the understanding of concepts learning increased, innovation trended in over the traditional teaching learning methodology and the dedication towards the job responsibilities improved. At the same time, it has been observed that there are some behavioral issues and ethics trending downwards like cyberbullying, sharpening anger and distraction from the basic skills. Keywords, Social Media, ICT Tools Social Networks, Cyber Ethics Introduction In recent years SNS made a revolution in communication technology for the educational purposes. 4G and 3G and now looking forward to 5G Internet services provide the accessibility for the global society and raising more opportunities in teaching learning processes. SNS and web tools are growing in school education with multiple way of communication like computers, tablets, mobile devices for the teachers and learners in variety of ways like sharing, collaborating and interacting virtually in the universe. SNS now established the purpose with learning outcomes and it is now overstimulation for the students to stay focused on cyber security and their safety, decision making, discussions, digital prints, cyber bullying and plagiarism or thefts. The learners need the communication skills, software skills and well versed with writing speaking and listening. SNS basically keeps identity, privacy, network infra and technological matter for educational teaching and learning processes too, Kevin, P.B., Lori B.H., and Bethany, V.S., 2010, K. G.D., 1995. SNS and social media achieved that credibility as a source of information where everyone can have online or offline interactions that virtually take place. Now it's integral part of school and institutions to get dependence, to connect in groups to make education convenient. This is growing and students are getting benefits from online tutorials and resources shared via SNS usage of social media on mobile and computer like devices for the user interactions in different platform to get face to face engagements 3, Teckelhamanot and Hickman 2011. The practice teachers in classroom are defined as rich and delicate presupposed a balanced performance, creating climate of openness and using pedagogical experience to create supportive structure for learning which is possible with trust and sensitivity among the teacher and learner for, Delate, M, Lally, V, Laponen, L, Simons, RJ 2007, P 280. Now the SNS are advancing education system and solving its issues in a pleasant manner so that the ethics, value-based education can sustain to inspire the learners for the forthcoming challenges in life. Review of Literature The influence of the social media in classroom teaching is increasing day by day that means its usage is reinforcing the contents and materials for sharing and discussion 1, 
Dr. K. Syamala Devi, E. Gautami, V. Vijayalakshmi 2019. Now major area of student participation increases in e-books, blogging, and showing improvement in learning style 5, Bridolf, C. 2007. Most of the schools and academic institutions believe that the SNS offers values in collaborative learning using video, podcast, wikis, etc. 6. Mike Moran, Jeff Seaman, and Hester Tinty Kane 2011. The learners achieve effective cooperation in their studies and bait friends outside in Twitter, Google Groups and other SNS and they have answers for multiple problem using social media 7, Silius, K, Tervakari, AM, and Malamaki, T, 2009. Recent studies recommend that the social media is now itself an additional educational system and offering innovative and 21st century based learning ICT tools 8, Redecker, C 2009, Redecker, C, and Alamutka, K 2007. The survey on social media networks proved that its uses are like levers or simple machines at lowest cost and minimum training 9, Qualman. E2009, Alexander. B. and Levine. A2008. SNS are flexible, easily available for individual and affordable like Facebook, wikis, and blogs are used in institutions by the student in exploring their project works 10, Alexander. B. and Levine. A2009. YouTube is a platform for learners to create and share videos in their daily life and in their studies as well. 11, Johnson. L. Levine. A. Stone. S. and Smith. R.S. 2009. SNS are promoting virtual communities and effectively are capable to communicate synchronously and asynchronously. 12. Fogel and Nemed. 2009. This is an impulse to every learner to remain active because it is potentially creating constructivism environment and at the same time it is promoting interaction among the communities. 13. The social media is an online learning platform where the teaching learning processes, sharing, values and sense of community are emerging with cohesion, spurt, and quality education as per expected learning goals globally. Background of the study The potential height of the SNS in knowledge construction are continuously making difference since last one decade in educational institutions. It has the capacity to understand now pedagogies and andragogy of the stakeholders in different schools and institutions. This paper is just to understand the teachers and educators around the schools of India and Asian countries with respect to their usage of social media networks in teaching learning processes. The study, of course, will give a spark to access the nature of social media most frequently used and how the SNS are playing vital role in their daily teaching learning work plan. In today's life most of the teachers remain uncertain about meaningful integration of ICT and SNS in their profession. They are using SNS as and when they feel it to be integrated but they are not really certain about the issues like media selection, ethics, cyber security, and safety. The most commonly SNS in practices are WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, blogs, YouTube, Google, INSTagram, Telegram and others. On the other hand, some of the teachers are using ICT in meaningful ways, some are also involved in creating massive open online courses, MOOCs, and enrolled in different courses as well. For the evaluation point of view and social justice this task will definitely reach to useful findings 14, Match, C, Meek, J, Wellens, J, Hooley, T.2009. Schools are now in the phase of adopting and integrating technologies and web tools in classroom teaching for real-time understanding of the concepts 15, Madhusudan G. Tandal, and Raghu Raman 2016. Consequently, it has been observed that there is need of study on SNS for in-service teachers and educators of school education system in Indian schools and some of the Asian schools for the comparison of school education and their finding when they are using SNS. Methodology in this study an online survey tool is used to get factual information about the individual teacher or an educator using SNS in real world. Around 270 responses collected through emails just to investigate the characteristics, behaviors, and opinion on SNS of the teachers and educators from Indian schools and Asian schools as well.
the 130 responses randomly sampled in order to make inferences about the teacher's point of view for SNS. Table 1.1 Fig-1.1 Table 1.1 and its plot shown as in Fig 1.1 is showing the maximum participation of the Uttarakhand state and Gujarat and rest of the Indian state and some of the Asian states are almost same in numbers in responding about the integration of SNS in teaching learning processes. Some of the educators almost 30, were hesitant to show their interest as of organizational issues with ICT policies and its implementation in parallel to curriculum of the state education. 2-Item Response Analysis Fig-2.1 The first item was about the interest and user-friendly SNS of the teachers, found as from Fig-2.1 Our WhatsApp is 73.6%, Facebook is 60%, YouTube is 20.9% and then INS Tiagram is also favorite social media for them. Fig-2.2 this item was just flashed to inquire the five best SNS what teachers are using during teaching and in real-time situation with the learners. The Fig-2.2 shows that most of the educators are inclined in the usage of YouTube, 91.8%, during their teaching what they felt are best resource for their purposes. Most of the content and resources shared through WhatsApp, 84%, and Facebook, 68.2%. Some of the SNS are like Telegram, Pinterest, Twitter, INSTagram and Messenger almost used by an average of 27% educators. Fig-2.3 This item is just to asses the familiarity of the popularity of the SNS among the teacher in their workplace and what exactly they are using and influenced by our WhatsApp and Facebook 69% and 68% respectively. The Fig 2.3 reflects the user's interest also in Twitter and Messenger as well but less popular in teachers during teaching hours as well. Fig 2.4 In this area the trend of responses is almost complex because the teachers and educators replied in mixed way. That is because of lack of awareness and rare orientation in ethical aspects of SNS. The plot in Fig 2.4 represents that the teachers had belief in SNS like in its transparency and privacy, 57.3%, and 40% of educators feels that the SNS promotes social identity and honesty around 40%. Fig 2.5 In case of safety and cyber security is concerned the teachers and educators rely on the safe post on SNS where they believed that a self picture and friends 34.5% and date of your birthday are the safest post on SNS around 31% felt the safe post in SNS are your date of birth and 24.5% felt that an alias is the best option to get in SNS that is why people are mostly tagging a photograph with friend helps in posting at SNS. Fig minus 2.6 in this area it has been observed that most of the teachers across the states and Asian states are not using more than an hour in social media especially during the lecture or detailing the lesson in classroom teaching. The Fig-2.6 shows that the in average of population only 69% of teachers are using social media and rest of the teachers are mostly doing their own tasks but only almost 8% of them are using social media during their teaching time. Fig-2.6 as it has been evident that most of the teachers in different institute of education are using social web-based media for their teaching as per need of the subject. Most frequently now everyone in educational community are using YouTube around 81.8%, ePath Shayla 45.5%, WhatsApp 30.9% and Khan Academy 22.7% in teaching hours. These point values are shown in Fig 2.6. Three Social and Behavioral Aspects of SNS Fig 3.1 This section of investigation is applied for the analysis of quick responses to know the impact of social media networks in the personal traits like the behavior of the teachers towards his fellow and student, the ethical uses of SNS and the inclusion of technology in classroom teaching. The graph shown in Fig-3.1 clearly explains that the there are positive change in personality of teachers and educators specially in behavior, 59.1%, in self-projection, 63.6%, and cyber security, 38.2%. The plot also indicates that there are hyper chances of misleading, 
in young kids when they are using SNS without cyber security, 38.2%. Most of the teachers are trending towards integration of SNS in teaching learning processes and they need more exposure that will increase the constructivism in educators' community. The addiction towards unwanted and unethical websites and SNS are influencing the social justice and inclusion of all challenges in the community. 4. Selection of Social Media in Teaching Learning FIG 4.1 SNS selection and use of appropriate social media as per need of the curriculum, content, and level of the learner, like age, demography, and physical presence, during the teaching in classroom by the teachers has been recorded and plotted here in FIG 4.1. The plot shows that the major segment of educational community is integrating the maximum from YouTube, 9.1%, Google Classroom, 8.6%, Google Search Engine, 8.0%, and Google Drive, 7.1%. Some of the mobile applications, MOOCs, Repository, and SNS are contributing in education like ePath Shayla, Enroar, Swayam, Wikipedia. GeogabraTube and Khan Academy in classroom teaching learning processes. Conclusion The study on the integration of SNS in classroom processes observed in mass of the teacher community that there are the following reasons of concern. 1. Teachers are smartly integrating YouTube, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Google tools in teaching learning processes but at the same time less than 2% are developing learning resources for their subject area. Two creative and innovative learning happened as SNS became part of classroom teaching resource. Three collaboration and independent thinking, problem solving skills and time management helps the teacher in job hours. Four the SNS minimize the social and economical divides during teaching learning processes. Five ethical usage of SNS leads to security of the learner. 6. SNS affects everyone including young minds that is why they need proper and safe guided approach in handling the elements unwanted floating in SN platform. The further scope of the study is to measure the competencies of the learner with the usage of SNS in their classroom as per subject resources available in curriculum. The components of artificial intelligence and social audit will indeed be a part of study in future because now machine learning, virtual learning and data science is empowering the social network.